Hi, I'm Joe, and this is my science project. So it's adding carbon dioxide, this stuff, to water, this stuff, affect the way it freezes, melts, and boils. You will need a stopwatch, I'm using my phone, a measuring cup, one cup, either pre-bottled carbonated water or I'm making my own, two bottles of water or a bottle of regular water and a bottle of carbonated water, an ice cube tray, mine is labeled so I've got half carbonated, half plain water, two pans, and you'll also need an oven and a freezer. The first step we'll do is where we're going to carbonate the water. So we just open up the water and pour into the water carbonator. There. This bottle's empty. It says they use less paper because they want to save trees, but right beneath it, it says recycle. Why? That doesn't make sense, so I'm going to recycle this bottle, and I hope they use more trees. Okay. Now that I'm done with the thing about the trees and the water, I'm going to carbonate my water. Remember, skip this step if you are using pre-carbonated. I can't remember how loud this is because it's been a while since I used it. That was loud. I'm just going to cover my ears because I think it's kind of loud, but that's why I'm putting the microphone next to it so you can hear it. Okay, I don't need to cover it now, so actually I'm just going to back away. All I have to do right now, just to activate it, press the lever. Yeah. Yay, it's bubbling over. That will be, that will have to be cleaned up. If you can, if you wait. Five seconds, it will be cleaned up. Now that that's all cleaned up, I'm going to proceed with the experiment. First, I'm going to fill four of these, one, two, three, four, with carbonated water. And 
four with the plain old water. They want you to recycle. So now that I'm done, I go to the freezer, stick it in, time it, and I'll be back in a few seconds. And I'll tell you how long it took in reality. Okay, the water is still freezing. It's been almost two hours since I have last was recording. So now I'm going to start with the boiling experiment. Well, I, first I'm going to measure exactly one cup of water. This is carbonated, if you don't remember from a few minutes ago, which to me was a, a few hours ago. We need it to be precise. There. And our recyclable bottle! This water is not going to be used for the experiment. Because it's... Not needed. Okay, so... In a few minutes, I'll put these on the stove, and we'll check it out. Now the boiling part of the experiment is going to part. start. On the left is the carbonated water, which is in that one without the black handle. In the right is going to be the plain water. It's the one with the black handle. So, ready, set. <laughs> Surprisingly, the carbon dioxide water boiled a lot slower than the regular water. It's been about one minute since the regular water ended and the carbon dioxide injected water is all done. Now that the ice is frozen, I'm going to put it in the microwave to melt it. And it's already melted. In 33 seconds. Next. I'm going to do the one that's carbonated. And the carbonated one is done too, in the exact same time as the regular water. So now, i figured out that my hypothesis isn't true. Carbon dioxide doesn't really affect the way water freezes or melts or boils. 
it pretty much makes it all the same. The difference between the ice was 10 minutes, which isn't very much. The difference between the water was about 1 minute, which still is not that much. The difference in the microwave wasn't any seconds at all, so I'm guessing that my hy hypothesis isn't true and that carbonation does not affect the way water freezes, boils, or melts.